throw back to the Bible, let's go to the source, to the root. The main rabbi that is known is Moshe Rabbeinu, like Moses. Like, first of all, like he was a real king of the of the of the nation of Israel, like the main first leader of of our nation. Now, the Torah is sharing with us that small detail that when Hashem wanted Moshe to become a leader to to our people, to the nation of Israel. So Hashem revealed Himself to Moshe when Moshe was 80 years old in the desert of Sinai, in a cave in the bottom of Mount Sinai. And over there, Hashem told Moshe, I want you to lead my people out of Egypt. You are the Redeemer. And for seven days and seven nights, Moshe was arguing with Hashem. And that's the first meeting. Like it was the first prophecy, the first main spiritual experience of Moshe, a great revealing of prophecy. He saw Hashem, he saw the burning bush, all that great sight. And now, instead of enjoying it, taking it, flowing with the greatness that Hashem is about to, to crown him, to lead the people of Israel, for seven days and seven nights, Moshe is arguing with Hashem not to take that position. And he is finding claims and arguments and reasons and justifications why he is not a worthy leader. After seven days and seven nights, Hashem told him, listen, be quiet. I decided that you're going to be the one, so you're going to be the one. And Aaron will be your mouth. He will speak for you. No problem. You need help. Aaron will assist you. And he'll be happy that you that that you will take the leadership. So Moshe st stood with no more claims. He could not argue with the decision that Hashem made. So uh, first of all, a leader must be a person that is not seeking for leadership. If the leader is someone that is thirsty for power, and he will justify it for the sake of the people. He's collecting the millions of dollars for the public. He's like, uh, I, like, I saw some posts in the last few days, like on some like big rabbis that are collecting money. You're talking about people that are sitting on tens of millions of dollars. I cannot understand how can it be that while that there are Jewish homeless people or in the world people that are suffering financially, someone will sit on hundreds or tens of millions of dollars. Like how can, why aren't you sharing the wealth? Like what's the reason that you need the money piled up in, in, in piles, in stocks? Like why, for what? If a person is busy in his own honor, respect, greatness, even world to come, whatever he's desiring, it's not a worthy leader. A leader must be a person that is helping and assisting and running and making himself to be the slave, the, 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 the handyman, the supporter, the helper, the carrier of the people. He becomes the, the worthy leader, like King David, like Moshe Rabbeinu, like Shlomo the king that asked for wisdom from Hashem, that he will have the ability to judge the people, a justice trial, trial of justice, that he won't make mistakes. That's why he asked for the wisdom for the people. But if the righteous man, so-called, the leader, is asking the greatness for himself, finish the story. It's not the right one for us.